define a countable set. Now, what do we mean by a countable set? Any set which is essentially a bijection with a set of natural numbers is called a countable set. So, any set which roughly speaking has, has uh, you know, the number of, same number of elements as natural numbers. That set is called the a countable set or else also what we can call essentially any set a set whose elements whose elements can be arranged can be arranged in a sequence in a sequence like a n where n is greater than or equal to 1 that set is called a countable set that set is called a countable set okay now one essential property or something that you should know is that the set of rational numbers q is countable q is countable q is countable because its elements can be arranged in a sequence its elements can be arranged in a sequence a n where n it has to be natural number greater than or equal to 1 those sets are called countable which are almost uh, like a bijection with natural numbers that means that they have essentially uh, as many number of elements as in, in as n okay now r which is a set of real numbers is not countable r is not countable R is not countable and we will just prove it why that is true now essentially if I can prove for an interval 0 to 1 any real interval 0 to 1 if I can prove that 0 to 1 is not countable okay then that would essentially mean that R is not countable because 0 to 1 is a subset of R and if this is uncountable then even R will be uncountable. If the small subset of R is uncountable then R will be uncountable. So let us try to prove let us try to prove 0 to 1 is not countable, is not countable. Okay, so proof. Let's do it with a con contradiction. So let me assume, let's assume in fact that 0 to 1 is countable instead okay it's countable if that is the case then we can arrange the elements in a sequence its elements can be arranged in a sequence sequence like a n where n is greater than or equal to 1 so let's now choose let's choose some intervals not equal to a1 
So let us choose an interval i1 subset of the interval i i which is your 0 to 1 okay so and let a1 not belong to i1 and let a1 not belong to i1 okay so what do we essentially mean we are choosing we are choosing 0 to 1 is the interval we are talking about we are talking about i1 this is my i1 this is i2 and so on and so forth and a1 does not belong to i1 okay that's what we are assuming so We can choose as I have in the diagram, I have chosen I2 contained in I1 where A2 again is not contained in I2. Similarly, I can take I3 contained in I2 where A3 does not belong to I3 and so on and so forth. So what do we have? We will in this scenario, we will get that a n plus 1 will not belong to i n plus 1, okay, i n plus 1. So, we have, this implies we have a nested sequence of interval. We have a nested sequence of intervals right we have a nested interval sequence so according to the property according to the nested interval property so by nested interval property what do I have I have that there should exist some real number delta such that delta lies in the intersection of i n where i n belongs to n belongs to you know natural numbers okay so which implies that delta should belong to i now delta should belong to i but by construction, did you see we were constructing specifically A1 not belonging to A, uh, I1, A2 not belonging to I2 and so on and so forth. So therefore by construction, delta does not equal to An for any n for any n so therefore delta does not belong to i at all because delta is not a n for any n since delta should belong to i so therefore that's a contradiction and this is a contradiction which is a contradiction to the fact that delta belongs to i which was right here right so that is a contradiction and this means that our assumption was wrong so our assumption 0 1 is countable implies that our assumption zero to one is countable is wrong okay so therefore it is uncountable and since it is uncountable the r the set of real numbers all real numbers will be uncountable